G'day and hello again. Uh, I'm back here with Star Vaders again today, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. One of the devs was kind enough to give me access to the beta version, which is currently a work in progress and still being updated on a very regular basis. But um, it'll give us a little bit of a preview of some of the uh, potential new content coming out. But full disclaimer, none of the artwork is finalized for any of the new assets. Uh, gameplay elements will change. Everything is up to change. So just want to let you know that things you see in this game, there might be some placeholder graphics, placeholder text, and anything is subject to change. However, I just thought it'd be interesting to get a little insight into what we're hoping, or what the devs are hoping to do and what direction the game is going. So we can already see here, there's a new mech that I haven't played with yet. The Stinger. Seems to be uh, jellyfish inspired, very cool. Let's see what uh, the difference is here. Shun, or Shun. Complexity one. Biomechanical jelly core needs jolts to stay awake. When the turn begins, shock a random invader. And there's a unique starting deck. We've got dash to move one to three tiles. Jab to strike an adjacent entity, so it's a melee sort of attack. Cleave, strike all adjacent tiles. And kunai, throw a card in your hand in the cardinal direction and draw a card. Okay. It's pretty interesting. Guide. Stinger cards cost power. If you run out of power, you spend battery instead. Right, so the mechs have completely different gameplay mechanics. And again, I'm not sure if this one is actually finalized or still a work in progress for the beta. So, you know, take all this with um, a bit of a grain of salt. It may not be there in the full release, or at least it may not exist in the same form. In any case, it's uh, completely unique from what we played last time, which was the gunner which had this overheat mechanic. When you play cards, you heat. The Stinger costs power as battery backup. You gain power when a shocked entity is struck. Okay. So you've got to pick your targets and hit them to gain some power back. Flow cards are free if they enter your hand during your turn. Okay. So you might get a bit of a build going where you're drawing more cards or have more of these in your deck. Some free hits. The Stinger can also throw or drop cards onto the grid as a pickup. You can move onto a pickup to draw it. Jeez, this is um, a bit intense. So we've got a few more. I've got another locked pilot there. Not sure who that is. Um, all right, well, let's give it a go. So yeah, I'm going in blind. I haven't tried this bad yet, and I certainly haven't tried this pilot or mech. So a lot of these gameplay elements will be brand new to me as well. So we get to pick a card. Push it or push an entity left to right. Strike an adjacent entity or draw a card. Return a random zero cost card from your discard pole to your hand. Strike an adjacent entity or draw one card. Spends one battery to punch with a large fist instead. Don't mind the idea of this one. We'll see. So we can get a new card, get an upgrade, or get a rare card. I don't really want to go for a horde right off the bat because I'm still going to be figuring out what I'm doing exactly. So I might just start here. So these might be a challenge with a, a melee build, but because as we know, these ones, I think, uh, swarm together. So, all right, I'm getting shot at a few times. I can move, I can punch. And I've got free power. If I move here and punch him, will I get power back? Yes, I will. However, now I can't... Oh, I can use battery. I don't really want to waste battery on the first turn, do I? Is that a Jason? No, so Jason is cardinal directions, obviously. I'm going to move here and just end there. This is a bit concerning. They're getting very close already. There's a Time Angel. Throw a card in a cardinal direction. Strike all adjacent tiles. That could be good. Get them off my back. I'm going to move here and punch you. And I should be well placed to take care of you next turn. Just gonna check, I'm not sure if this music might be a little bit loud. I'm gonna pop that down a little bit. Okay, so. Strike an adjacent entity or draw a card. Draw a random zero cost card. 
Do I have... I don't have a zero cost card, do I? So that's... Probably not going to help me, but I will just punch him. And to move here, and I'm going to hit you for some power. Um, and I suppose that'll be all I'm going to do. I'll move down just to... Prepare to cut you off. Okay, this one's shot, so I want to hurt him. All the Jason tiles, I'll do that in one go. That only costs one power. Flow. What did flow mean again? Free the next time played if it enters your hand during your turn, I see. Well, no, you're all gone. I'm going to come here and I'm going to punch you. I've got one power left, so I'm going to move. No, I don't. I don't have a move. I'll uh, leave it there. I should be able to cut him off, hopefully, with a nice move. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind try, trying a kunai. So if I do this, throw a card in your hand. So if I pick the card and throw it this way, there you go. Victory. I hope I don't lose that card, do I? <laughs> All right, so we get an upgrade for that. Dash. It's a tactical upgrade. It draws the top flow card from my draw pile. Reduce power cost by one. You may move up to two tiles first before I attack all adjacent tiles. That sounds amazing, actually. Okay, so I can do this Swarmer Party, which is a bit scary, for an artifact. Or a simpler battle with some shielded enemies for a card. I'm going to take this on. I know it might be a, a very early run ender. But the uh, appeal of an artifact is uh, pretty big. Draw a card. I wonder what that little green... little green... Uh, Hip under the card there. What does that mean? Anyway, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to punch you. Do I have a zero cost card here? No. I suppose I'll punch you. Maybe. Could use power. Uh, I won't waste it yet. Ah. I'll pretend I meant that. I, I actually forgot that uh, these things die if they're left, if they're separated. I thought they were still touching diagonally, but clearly that isn't the case. So, lucky me. All right, we're going to try this flow. So I'm going to move here and attack everyone. So they're okay. So they're flashing red. So they're going to die. Do I move and strike him, or do I go for the time angel? I actually haven't used a chrono token, so I won't bother. I move. Oh, that's not adjacent, is it? Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move here. I strike him. And I'm going to throw this card at him. If I move on that, what does that do? Oh, it gives me the card back. Okay. Ah, and that might be the play. When you pick up a card... What was the other card I had? Um, it was one where if I picked it up during my turn, it would cost zero, right? So if I throw it on the ground and then pick it up, the next turn, for example, it will be a freebie, potentially. Good to play with there. In any case, got that done. Pick an artifact. Nemesis. Each turn, spawn an echo bomb on a random tile near the middle of the grid. Okay, I had that one last time when I had a bit of a bomb build going, and that was actually amazing. When a junk card leaves your hand during your turn, draw one card. Um, does this character get junk cards? The previous one, I think he got junk cards, or she got junk cards when you overheated. Ah, oh, usually the game we are struck, sorry, okay. When it leaves my hand, draw a card, or after an entity is pushed or pulled, shock it if it didn't collide. That's potentially good, though I don't have any push or pull yet. Maybe I will lean into that. Because I think the more things I have shock on, the better, right? Because I'll just be getting free power for hitting them. And let's see if we can get a nice card reward from this battle. So yeah, if you're not familiar with this game or you didn't see the last video, very reminiscent of a bit of the strategy of Into the Breach. It's got some Space Invaders reference, obviously, as these little creatures move down towards uh, the bottom three here. And if they get in here, they'll start generating Doom. And if you fill the Doom bar, you lose, basically. 
So, he's this is the shocked one, so I'm not gonna be able to get to him. What I'm gonna do. Uh I might leave it there actually. These should all move down. Hopefully next turn I get one that'll attack all adjacent and I'll be laughing. Is that it? Nope, that's it. i do this. Wait on. Can I skip the move? Yes, there we go. Awesome. Now if I move up... Oh, I really want to... I have to start here actually, and I'll hit him, get a power back, hit him. And I can't play that now. I just need to get over here and cut him off before he gets into the doom zone. Oh, we've got some shooters up here as well, that's going to complicate things. This is actually potentially a pretty tough fight. If I move here, you're gone, so you don't generate doom. You're gone. So I'll get some power, and I'm going to sit right here. The next turn, hopefully, I can take out a few of you at once. Draw a card. What have we got here? If I can draw a cleave, I'll be ecstatic. Wonderful. Gonna skip the move. Attack all those. Uh, he's gonna die this turn, which is great for me. The move here. And I'm going to throw a dash card at you. Do I utilize a battery power now? Just to take him out. I haven't done it yet. Just like a little free hit, I'm gonna get limited charges, but we'll see what happens. What happens when they hit a card? They destroy the card. Does that actually take it out of the pool? Need to be wary of that. Um, cleave again. And I can move first, right? So if I move here and cleave, I'm back to full power. Back you. Back to full power. I'm going to meet you here and end my turn. So now I should be able to just punch you. Move here. Punch you. Not too bad. That cleave is doing good work for us. The next move is free and gets plus one repeat. And repeat does... Okay, just repeats the whole effect once without the energy cost. Move to any tile and draw one card. Increase the power cost of the card. That's a bit scary. Teleporting is awesome though. Thunderclap. Retained. Throw this card in any cardinal direction. If it hits a shocked entity, strike all adjacent tiles. If unplayed, stays in your hand and reduces its cost. Holy moly. I mean, haste sounded fantastic. But this will sit in my hand until a good time to use it, and I can just fire that off. Yeah. We're off to Min's workshop. Hello, Min. What have we got here? Got 18,000 stars. Draw a pick up on the grid or choose your mech. Strikes all tiles adjacent. Ah, so I can throw a card and shoot tendrils out of it. Choose an empty tile, pushes all adjacent. Now I can. Where are my artifacts? If an entity is pushed or pulled, shock it if it didn't collide. So that could potentially shock a bunch. Pull an entity into a cardinal direction and give. It shock. That's a bit redundant. Swap two entities. Start with three shurikens as pickups on the grid. Okay, that pickup will be destroyed. The card is discarded. That's what happens if an enemy touches it. But that's just a right. That's just a free throw. If I pick it up before the enemy gets to it. Gain the ability to spend one power to draw a card once per turn. Prioritizes flow cards. How does priority how does prioritize work? So I just pick it out of the deck. 
I can spend one power to draw a flow card, which should be free because I've earned it during a turn, right? I've only got one, but that is cleave, right? Oh man, choices. I get both. Shuriken and tendrils, right? I'm thinking this will put shurikens down on the ground. Then I can use tendrils on that shuriken, then it will attack everything around it. Right? This sounds good, but it costs two power. This sounds good because I can basically use power to draw extra cards. I think I'll I think I'll do this. And uh, can I leave a tip? No. Sorry, Min. I'll catch you next time. I'm Australian. We don't really have the tipping culture. <laughs> All right, the Shambler. Boss battle. Must be struck three times to be defeated. When struck, it moves away, gains a shield, and spawns invaders. Right. Oh, that's a bit scary. Can I pick this up now? Yes. I can throw that at you. Then I can throw that at you. Then I can move... Uh, hmm. no, I can't move. Yes, I can actually. I can move and strike, but that will get me shot. Actually, it might be the way to go though. No, this is the way to go. Move there, hit him. Pick that up, hit him. Or do I really need to clear these out so I don't get don't risk the doom? Ah, uh, what do I do? I'll try this. A free shot. Move here. Free shot. Oh. <laughs> I mean that was good. I got him two hits in one turn, right? Maybe I'll just rush him. Got my shuriken, the bastard. I just need to hit him twice. Which I can do. <laughs> Beautiful. That was actually just a perfect little setup for that kind of boss. So the shurikens come in very handy. On your third turn, gain three battery and draw three additional cards. First time you break a shield, gain a battery each turn. Invaders have 25% chance to drop a charge on their tile when destroyed. And what's a charge? Gain a battery and purge the card. Oh, these are all tempting. Trinity sounds good, but three turns. I have to wait. Pick a shield. I think I'm going to do it. I have to wait for it, but it's a guaranteed good return. What are these rushes? They work. They run really fast down, don't they? But I get an artifact. Holes. That's uh. Hmm. You know what? Got to go for the artifact. Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. He's shocked. Okay. I tendril that. Nice. Uh, pick that up. Go whack. Going to move here and hit you. Kill you. Kill you. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold on to you. I'm gonna draw a card, am I? May as well just see what I get. Might be free. It's not free. How fast do you move? You might move two spaces, you're gonna kill that. So I burn a battery just to get this. Kill you. I'm happy with that. That was a six combo turn. Whoa, they just keep coming. And the shocked one's up there, damn it. OK. 
antenna, get up there. I really need to take care of this one. I move there. Kill him. Move there. Kill him. I've still got one battery left. Ah, uh, that was a bit of a silly sacrifice, wasn't it? Um, what cards have we got to draw? All the same. Uh, I'll end there, I think. I'll lose the sh shuriken or the kunai. I'm sure it comes right. Um, give me a cleave. Whoa. Ah, turn three. Right, that actually came a lot quicker than I thought it would, so that's actually really good. Your toast. Should have actually used that. Damn it. Good chrono. No, I won't. I'm going to stand here. I'm going to punch you. I'm going to punch you. I'm going to use a battery to come here. Throw this at you. I'm going to... Ah. Take that. And hit you. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Panic mode. When your turn begins, if an invader is channeling doom, draw two cards. Okay, bit of a get out of jail free there. Well, potentially. Double A. Start with plus one battery for every five cards in your deck. I have 14. That could be good. Hidden Blade. After you draw three cards during your turn, gain a shuriken in your hand. After you draw three cards during a turn. I don't really have much that draws cards during turns unless I do them one at a time, so... I think this one will benefit me the most. Rare card, but that could be anything. Nova York Contact. That's just an upgrade, and oh, I've got the spiders with the spider webs. I think I'll have to go this way. The other one looks a bit too scary at this stage. What am I going to do here? There's a cleave. Not worth it. Or do I shuriken that? Cleave there. Shuriken you. Move here. Shuriken you. And I'll hold. I shocked Time Angel, hey? What does this do again? Strike all adjacent tiles as well. Hmm. What can I do? I think I'm just going to punch you. A bob, blob of bomb. I'm going to punch you. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to destroy that. Sadly, I think I'm going to have to let you. Let's move myself there. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> uh, tendrils. So I can pick myself, can't I? I'll do this first. I'm going to jump in there. Thank you. Tendrils. Move. I don't need you. I'm going to kill you, actually. That was pointless, wasn't it? Anyway. Okay, if I move here and hit you with this, you'll just kill your mate, and we're good. So I get an upgrade. Tendrils becomes a draw. Jab, plus two, repeat, and purge. If you played a move, repeat. None of these are particularly... Synergizing, but I suppose that's always good to have a little free draw. Another Russia party. 
I'm gonna go for it. I think I handled it pretty well last time. I may also have gotten very lucky. Um, that. Uh, I regret that. Anyway. I can just draw a card, can't I? Grab that. Throw that. I'm going to leave it there for now. Oh, actually, that... Ooh. Don't mind using a battery in that situation. I'll lose all the shurikens now. Give me a cleave. Actually. Give me a tendril. Then a cleave. Then just punch this guy. Beautiful. Another artifact. Rogue Curator. Whenever a pickup would be destroyed, you have a 50% chance of drawing it. That's nice, especially if things are always stepping on my shurikens. When a push or pull card is played, reduce the cost of a random card by one. Or spawn a bomb. Look at this one. Back to Min's shop. Junk card. Cards that you throw pierce through the first entity. I mean, no brainer, right? I should probably have read everything else first. <laughs> Shuffle two shurikens in your draw pile. Toss an adjacent invader over your mech into an empty tile. That's like the suplex mech from... Uh, uh, was it Into the Breach? Shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile. Draw all flow cards. I only have one. Move to any tile in your column or row. Flow cards become free. This card gains flow. I like that. I like that too. I'll grab that. Alright, you get your tip. Reshuffle your discard pile into your draw pile. Draw a tactic and draw a tactic and make it free. Okay. Why not? Mega blob. Not a huge fan of the old blobby enemies. Well, that's useless now because I don't have anything in a draw pile. Do I do this or do I? Kind of have to. Oh, hello. If I move and strike, that'll get me a bit closer. Then I can. Shuriken. Oh, you've done it again. Move. Yeah, I think I'll have to kill you. Alright, let's try this. Do I just... Yep. Okay. Tendrils. Okay. Uh... Shuriken, nice. Shuriken, nice. Eleven combo. I'm gonna get blown up here. Do I just throw something at that? No, I'll save my power. Shimmer. Right, so I do want to get rid of that actually. Um, he is. Charged. I might have to use some battery here. This will pierce and hurt you. Oh, you're immune? 
Oh, okay. Uh... That will hit him because it's piercing now. Excellent. I wish I could move. I'm going to actually draw a card. Move there. Pierce down. Draw a card. Slide to here. Throw that down. I'm going to end it there. <laughs> 14 combo. Um, oh, I really should play that. Where is my... Oh, here it is. Don't mind me, I am blind. Okay. Okay. Uh, you skip the move. Up there. Once you. You need to die. Uh, actually, I'm going to spend the battery to get rid of these. Because I don't want them getting shields. Is that free now? It is. I'll wait there. Okay, I need to move here. I need to punch you. I need to hit you. That's bad. Go there, I'm gonna throw this at you. I don't know why I did that actually, anyway. Uh, Tendril. I can't use it on them, I can only use it on myself. On. What's the best way to go here? I might just move here, punch you, discard you. Got one next to me. Punch you. Move there. Gotta hit there. Move down. Hit you. Nice clean win. When your turn begins, if you have no battery, gain two battery. Nice. When your turn ends, apply shock to all invaders in your column. There's the first tactic card played each encounter. Gain a phantom copy of it each turn. Oh my god. I didn't choose. Uh, I like this. This will apply more shock. This is actually great as well. Um, really just buffs your power every turn, but... Oh, how do you choose? My card that hits shocked enemies strikes all adjacent tiles. So that could like clear a row or a column. I'll try it. I feel like there'll be more benefit to having more shocked enemies in time. Got an upgrade here with some ghosts and uh, hydra things. What are these? Mimic party. Very great. I'm going to try this just to see what this new uh, invader might be. A pulsar. When its shield breaks, it starts an attack that generates two doom. What? So you have to kill it in one turn? Let's see. Yep. So you've really got to do two hits on those in one turn, otherwise they generate doom, and that is the one thing you don't want to happen. Uh, what I'm going to do... I'll actually take you out now.
Oh, no, I'm not doing that. That'll set you off. What if I do this? What do they do? When destroyed, add junk. Yeah, okay, that's what that was. That's right, I think I can manage that. That's shocked. Pushes your mech in a random direction. Um, what can I do here? A tendril that it'll still need to be shot by something, right? Does this pierce? It does. All right, here's the plan. Broke his shield. Move here. Shuriken, you. Move and hit you. Ah, uh, I've got seven battery right now. <laughs> have to finish selecting. Uh, what I didn't account for was that I can then no longer move. I don't really care about attacking that. I have to end my turn. Okay, I need to... Get here. Punch you. And to draw a card. Move there. Hit you. Take that. Push all entities in a random direction. Any entity that is pushed or pulled, shock it. If it didn't collide. Draw, drop a card as a pickup. Four tiles away. Spawn two shadow clones up to four tiles away. After you or this moves, it strikes a random adjacent invader. Dissipates if adjacent to an entity when your turn ends. That sounds crazy. I'm going to go the tornado. Oh, bloody hell. Let's do it. This is going to be... Regrettable, I feel. Um, wish me luck on this one. Actually, that's not bad. Is it? Oh, could take out one. I wish I was lined up to take out more than one. They don't stay in my hand either, so I might just have to draw them randomly again. It's a bit of a waste of a first turn, actually. I get down here. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, what have I done? Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? Oh my god, I'm going to lose instantly. Holy hell. Hit him. Oh no. My goodness. Okay, we need to. I've got no moves. Oh, this one. Let me get you out of the picture there, pal. Then I need to. Pick 
that up. Oh boy. Um, can't throw that little stay in my hand. I can't do that. That won't help. Can't do that. I'm going to use this, I guess. Okay. At least. No, I'm going to punch you. Uh, at least that's got the close one out of the way for me. As long as no more spawn. Okay. No, I'm going to hit there. Punch you. Make my way over here. Punch, punch. I'm going to get rid of that. I'll move nice and close. So I can just easily hit you, hit you, get you out of here. That was terrifying. I didn't realize what I was doing when I used Tornado on those. When you play a repeated card, strike a random shieldless invader. When your turn begins, if an invader is challenging Doom for two, replenish Chrono Token after you rewind, gain warp. Replenish Chrono Token when? I might just do the panic mode. Okay. So this one will give me a reduction in doom, which is good. And I don't have to deal with those in... What are they again? Polaris, whatever they're called? Yeah, I'm just going to go this way. Although they're bad in their own right, but that's fine. You know what? Oh, and a tornado again. I learned nothing. What can I move there? No. Alright, here's what I'm doing. Moving here. Striking there. Tornadoing. Punching you. Throwing that. And I will kill you. You can pick up shurikens with shurikens. Or did I just destroy it and get it in my hand by chance because of that artifact? I'll have to test that. Anyway. Take that any day. I'm going to go here. I just want to start moving down and try and cut these guys off. Hopefully I can... Ah, Tendril will help. Maybe. I'm going to do this in Tendril myself there. I don't really care about that. I'm going to grab this. Yeah, actually I will get rid of that. Um, okay, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. I'll leave it there for now. Oh, should have actually positioned myself better there, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to throw a junk card at you. Storm Cell. Shock any entity. If it was already shocked, strike it and push all adjacent entities. Move to any tile and draw a card. Increase the cost of the card. Spends up to three batteries. Strike every entity up to that many tiles away. Oh. I think I just need to stick with the, the shock build. So 
him in. We're back. Hot feed has been there the whole time. Anti mag. Well, now I've actually got a few push pull cards, right? So that might actually not be terrible. Galvanize. Shock an enemy. Good. Gain shield. Move to any tile. The next attack you play this turn is no longer discarded. Uh, I need the mobility, absolutely. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab that. Give you some money. Artifact unlocked. When your turn begins, upgrade a random hand in your random card in your hand with a random component. Sure. Eternal. Move to any tile in the center column. Draw the top card. Okay. <laughs> the Grand Master. Oh, yes, yes. All coming back to me now. The next attack you play this turn is no longer discarded. Must be struck thrice, immune while adjacent to an invader or while a queen is alive. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to draw a card. Uh, I was hoping that will let me move. Oh, it might still. Wonderful. Uh, where am I going to go? What am I, what's my plan? I need to kill the queen. So I was hoping to get in this column and throw two shurikens. So if I do this, yeah, this won't get discarded. Oh, but it'll still get used. But that's okay. Now I can do this, and then I can do this, and then I can do this. Um, then. You shielded, you are. Who's attacking me there? Oh, this guy. Take out the pawn. Punch you. Punch you. Move here. I'll leave it at that. Now what? Shock any entity. It was already shocked. Strike it and push all adjacent entities. Okay. Sure. Gladly. Shield broken. Punched. Oh, he reset me. Bastard. Um, now what? Being right there, I could just throw... That. Move there. Um, this is a bit messy, this one. Could be... Just gonna do that. And then this. King is vulnerable. Got him. Okay, I think I need to get him one more time. I have so much battery, so I'm just going to do this. Uh, I'm going to run here.
don't have any flow cards, that doesn't help me. If I move here. Strike up. Strike up. Move here. Strike that way. Oh, there's still queens alive. Damn. What are you going to give me? Returnal. I think I'm going to have to stay here and cop a hit. Don't want to keep that. Oh, what? Why'd it move? Crap. I think I'm in a bit of trouble now. Three turns left, I think. Storm Cell? Storm Cell's always the option, right? Hang on. Shock an entity. It was already shocked. Strike it and push. Okay. That's not the option. I thought that was the uh, tornado. Uh, what can I do? Maybe maybe now's the time for a rewind. Reroll this hand. Move to any tile. The next attack is not discarded moving there using that using that again queens down moving here killing you killing you moving here killing you Give me some cards, please. No battery, no power. Okay, he's still vulnerable. Just need to get there. Done it. You unlock the second difficulty. Oh, work in progress deck. So again, disclaimer from the start of the video, this is a preview beta build. Everything you're seeing here that's new uh, is a work in progress and subject to change. There's placeholder art, there's placeholder text, obviously. Um, but considering that it was still a very smooth, very fun experience, I've got to say. Timeline divergence. New act two invader, new act one special encounter, new act three special encounter. Proceed. Beautiful. Victory. So I've unlocked, I've leveled up the Stinger, which is the mech. And new set unlocked. Are all pickups. Where even if you pick up a card during a turn, you strike adjacent tiles. Drop this card as a pickup three tiles away. When destroyed, strike this tile and draw this card. <laughs> That's cool. So it's a little trap. Okay. Yeah, plus one power and draw one card when you destroy an entity in the tile directly below. Move to any tile and strike all tile diagonal. Ah, here's our other pilot. Paint by drawing 10 pickups. Yeah, okay, she looks cool. Oh, another one. Upgrading 10 cards. So, plenty of content, plenty of new stuff that I haven't seen. Some of that might be specific to the beta, some of it might not be. Um, but in any case, it all looks fantastic. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching this playthrough. Um, again, this is a preview build, but everything is looking fantastic. Really, really enjoy this game. Um, if you're a fan of this kind of deck builder with the strategic grid, very reminiscent to me, at least, of a Mega Man Battle Network in a way, um, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's really good fun. So check it out on Steam. I'll put the link in the description. And if you like this video and want to see more, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It really helps me out. And if you have any suggestions for further games that I can cover, uh, please leave a comment below. Thank you.